This is a stomach. Number one, we have the uh, most inferior portion of the esophagus. And this little checklist says esophagus with pleats. So, uh, those little pleats in there of the esophagus. All right. Number two, we have the esophageal cardiac junction. Esophageal cardiac junction, right in there. Number three is the cardiac region. Cardiac region right below the esophageal cardiac junction. Number four, right up here, is the fundic region. And on the, on the uh, checklist, it actually says the, the I believe it says the cardus and the fundus and then the um, corpus, but on, on this, this list right here, it refers to it as cardiac, fundic, and corpic regions. So, anyways, number three is the cardiac region. Number four is the fundic region. Number five is the corpic region, or in the um, in Tortor, it also refers to it as the body. And you can kind of remember that, like, corpse is another word for a dead body. So corpic region is like the body of the stomach, which is the majority of it right in there. And uh, these folds here... Are, are pretty much permanent folds, and those are referred to as gastric, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to say this right, rugae? Gastric rugae? Rugae? Not sure. And then uh, number six is pointing out the greater curvature of the stomach, which is this entire, like, curve, the, out, the outermost, um, kind of like if you had a bean, it would be like the big curve of the bean. <laughs> And then the little the little inside curve is the the lesser curvature, which is number twelve. But anyways, um, and then number seven, right here, is pointing out the pyloric antrium, which um, in a, a certain portion of the book is kind of shown to be a little region like in an A shape and that's how I, I remember that is like a, antrium is like starts with an A so it's a little A shape antrium and then number eight right here is the pyloric canal so obviously the food starts coming down the esophagus enters the stomach through the esophageal cardiac junction and moves through all these regions that we've been talking about into the pyloric antrium, up into the pyloric canal, through the pyloric canal, and it goes past this pyloric sphincter, which is what number nine is illustrating, pyloric sphincter. And um, also another question he might ask is what is, what um, kind of tissue is this pointing out, or I don't, I don't know exactly how we'd phrase it, but this, um, where this number nine pin is in, is it's inside of the muscularis externa of the pyloric sphincter. Number ten, right over here, is pointing out the left gastric artery and vein. The left gastric artery and vein, right there. Number eleven, right next to it, is pointing out the angular notch. So the angular notch is kind of, Dr. Apps told me it's kind of within the lesser curvature of the stomach and it's it's where this um, left gastric artery and vein um, are visible. And number 12, I just mentioned the lesser curvature of the stomach. It's not very well seen the way this is pinned out and displayed, but if it was a whole stomach altogether, that would that would be a curve, the, le the lesser curve of the stomach, um, lesser curvature. Number 13, right here, is the superior duodenum. 
So it's the first portion of the duodenum. After the food is passed out through the stomach, out through the pyloric sphincter, it moves into the duodenum. This is the superior portion of it. And um, it's kind of upside down. This would actually be curved up like that. So it would be where my knuckles are. The superior portion would be actually superior. Whereas in the way it's pinned out, it's it, it's like an inferior portion. But um, this is the superior portion, uh, the first portion of the duodenum, superior duodenum. Number 14 is the descending duodenum, where it goes down from the superior duodenum. And um, he has it with it, like, pinning some plique. Those are some plique within the duodenum, descending duodenum. And number 15, back up here, is our cardiac notch. The cardiac notch of the stomach. And that is our stomach.